So, just got a new gun. Actually, I got a, I got my wife a new gun. She's been, well, I've been bugging her to take, for her to go shooting with me, and she said she'd go shooting with me as soon as I got her a green gun. So I found her a, a lime green gun. So, tonight, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to unbox it for you. I know I hate unboxing videos, we all do. I don't understand it, but I figured I'd unbox it for you. Then I'd sh go ahead and I would show you guys how it is that I go ahead, that I mount, mount the scope on it, and then I will uh, go ahead and do a real quick demonstration of how you bore sight a rifle scope. We'll see how this works out. I don't know. Kind of new on this stuff as far as the camera goes, but we're going to try it, okay? So just bear with me. So, like every Ruger, comes in a nice little white box. Pretty simple. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but open it up. Ruger's pretty nice. Oh, there goes the parts I need. Comes in a plastic sack, pretty easy. You think it is easy. But they're actually really nice. They go ahead and they put a little flag in there indicating the chamber is empty. We'll go ahead, lock this open. It's all new. Pull this flag out so you guys can see. Release the magazine. It came empty. And there you go. Why it's brand new, beautiful. Lime green, Ruger 1022. It's just how it came. Came with one magazine, the rifle. Set that right there. Comes with an instruction manual. That's fun. A couple of cards, some accessories. Take a look at that later. And nice little gun lock, rifle lock. I suppose if you guys want, it's a trigger lock. To be honest with you, I never really looked at how these things work, but if I remember right. Aha! Lock the bolt open. We'll just lock it like that. Gun's locked. Personally, I've never really liked these things because they kind of go up against the wood here, everything else. But it's handy to have in case you don't have a safe. You got little ones running around, everything else. Safety first, guys. Hey, normally, just store your guns in a gun safe, unloaded. Or I suppose if it's if it's in a gun safe you can store it loaded, but either way, I've never really had much use for trigger locks. I've always used them stored in a safe place. But so let's get on to the idea of how you go ahead and mount a scope on this thing, because you notice here there's not even a good place to mount a scope. It's set up for iron sights. So we'll pause this for, for a second, kind of move you guys around a little bit and give you a better view of what's going on. Okay guys, so I got the cameras moved around a little bit, switch, switch it up a little bit. I'm going to show you what it takes to go ahead, mount a scope on his Ruger 1022. We'll start with everything standard. Don't mind my furnace over there, I'm sorry about that guys. but. Hold on a second, let me tilt this camera down. Let's let you guys see what's going on. Sorry about the uh, lighting in here. This is a basement, what can I say? But you'll notice right here you got four screws here. You're going to have to remove those. Because once you remove those, you got this neat little nifty uh, 
rail that you're gonna we're gonna mount on here. We'll start by removing these little screws. Maybe. Sure as heck didn't want these things to come out. A bigger screwdriver. There we go. There's one. Yeah, I'm not fine. I'm not getting that one back. Sorry about that, guys. Should have been easy. There we go. Maybe. Not as easy as it looks, guys. I'm sorry. Thought that I could make this look pud and simple. But uh, it's like Ruger didn't want these screws to come out. There we go. Right tool for the job, right guys? Normally I'd say I'd edit all this stuff out so I don't look like an idiot, but you know what? You guys should figure out what it looks like. So you know. So, it came with this rail. It came with these little screws. This should be easy. Stick these screws in here. Line them up with the holes. We'll go ahead and put that one in just slightly tight so that I can get the other holes to line up. Now, this is set up so that this rail is only gonna go on one way. If you notice, the holes are different widths apart, so you can't put it on backwards. So be careful when you're going ahead and putting that thing on there. Head. Tighten this up. Normally, I'd say this is where you might want to put a couple of drops of blue Loctite in here, but I look through my garage and all I've got is red, so we're just going to tighten it up. Call it good. Hopefully, they don't come loose. I know my rifle that I've had for a long time, mounts never come loose. So there's that. Now you got your rail on here. You're gonna have to put a couple of scope rings on. Pick these up, these cheap ones up at Best uh, <laughs> Walmart. Um, you can pick them up anywhere. You can get scope rings on Amazon, just about anything. And all, you can buy really expensive scope rings. You can buy really cheap scope rings. Um, doesn't matter. More expensive ones are going to be better. They're not going to strip out. They're not going to have problems. But in all reality, my wife's going to use this. She's going to plink around with it. And that's all. It's not going to be a huge competition gun. So we'll go ahead. If you notice, this got a little piece like this. Loosens up. Um, doesn't really matter which way you put it on. Just kind of slide it on. If you guys can see this, tighten up this screw here. And I'm just kind of estimating where they go. Probably have to move this a little bit when I get the scope on. So I'm just kind of loose finger tightening them. Now, came with an Allen wrench. Most of these come with Allen wrenches. 
most people have Allen wrenches. We'll go ahead and don't lose these screws. So that's all ready. We'll set the scope on here. Let me go grab the scope. I forgot it. Okay, guys. I'm really new to YouTube. So this is just a basic Simmons 3x9x40 scope. Kind of a cheap rifle scope. It works. Um, had it on one of my rifles. It's clear, it works, it, it's good for plinking. Um, go ahead and mount that. So I'm gonna try to mount this far forward because it's got quite a bit of, quite a lack of eye relief on it. Um, which basically means your eye has to be farther back here to really see it. I kinda like to have my eye up here. We'll see how it works. Looks like it's gonna set nice and low. Go ahead and put these on here and then try to get it. Get it leveled out and looking nice. I'm doing right now is just putting these scope caps back on here real nice and loose trying to keep them both even on both sides you don't want to tighten down one side and not have the other side tight because then it kind of cocks it around makes it look funny doesn't really uh, do your scope a whole lot of good either because it puts weird pressure on one side of the tube compared to the other Um, I honestly picked these up, these scope rings up tonight just because I was excited to get this mounted and get shooting, but my suggestion to you all is if you're buying scope rings, find a set that's only got one piece across, not two. Oh, there goes my reloading jag. And of course, you know, a nice mount to hold my rifle upright would be nice too, but I do everything on the cheap. Therefore, I just hold things up, hope it fits, hope it works. Hope I didn't just put the wrong screw in, which I did. That one's not going to be for that.
My suggestion is seriously buy scope rings that only have one cap over the top, not two. This was kind of a pain. But we'll make it work. For the $8 I paid for these, they're fine. So, it's still kind of loose. You can still kind of move stuff in there. We'll go ahead and, because you can see how I can kind of wiggle it a little bit. We'll go ahead for a second, pause you guys, and I'll take a look at, and level it out. Okay, guys. You can kind of see the crosshairs. This is kind of hard to do. But what you want to do... So you want to look at those crosshairs and you want to make them level with the gun. Just look down the barrel, look down the sight, make it kind of level. Like I said, it's looking through this with the camera is not as easy as one would think, but there we go. So you notice how it's tipped just a little bit compared to the way the gun is. We'll fix that. We'll get it set up and we'll tighten it down. Hold on a second. Okay, so got it leveled out. I suppose you guys are having a hard time seeing this. Um, so all you gotta do is kind of tighten each one of these down until it's each side's tight. Kind of want to look at it, make sure that the gap in between it's even. You'll notice. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there you see there's a this kind of gap right there you want to make sure it's even that gap is the same on this side as it is on that side and that's all it takes to tighten down the scope we'll finish that up I'll go grab some stuff and we'll show you how to roughly uh, uh, laser sighted in it's a rough estimate but it at least gets you close on paper when you get out to the range okay guys got the scope all mounted up it's in there perfect we're gonna go ahead and bore sight it all sorts of ways to bore sight this is what I got just a nice little nifty laser I'm not going to shine this right in the camera, I don't know what it'll do, but uh, so all you got to do, stick this in the end of the gun, should fit slightly snug in there, push it all the way in so it sets on the crown, turn her on, it's unloaded. So you guys know, totally unloaded. Look through the crosshairs. And what you should see is the little red that dot on the wall in your crosshairs. And it should be kind of close. Um, make sure this is in there tight and right. Now, theoretically, you should probably cite try to sight this in at a distance of whatever you're going to be shooting at, but I guarantee you my basement isn't long enough to do 25 yards. So it looks like the red dot is a little bit high and just a hair to the left. So we'll go ahead, pull these scope caps, these adjustment caps off. 
and adjust these out. Give me a few minutes, I'll go ahead and adjust this out and I'll give you guys a, a show of what it looks like. So, I know it's hard, I know it's hard to see, but you can see where the crosshairs are and the little red dot is, and it looks a lot better when you can, uh, when you can see it in real life, but what can I say, but got it all lined up. And that's bore mounting it or bore aligning it. Okay, guys, well, that's it for tonight. Um, went ahead and unboxed brand new rifle for my wife. Went ahead and mounted on the Picatinny rail, mounted the scope, bore sided it. Uh, hope you guys got something out of it. I know the video quality is a little rough. Uh, there's some noises going on. I'm in my basement, but that's where I have for doing this stuff. Uh, and I'm using whatever video equipment I've got. I'm sorry. If you want, if you like what I'm doing, you want to see better quality, want to see better videos, drop me a line at Jeff at knowledgeguy.com and uh, we'll see what I can do for you. If you want to support this YouTube channel, help it grow, help me get some better video equipment, better stuff. Maybe even get my son down here and help him have him handle the camera so we can get a little better video quality. Uh, go ahead and go over to uh, my uh, affiliates page on myknowledgeguy.com and buy from one of my affiliates. If you're a car guy, I got plenty of stuff. I got a couple parts places. Uh, I got an affiliate that sells tires. Gotta love them. Uh, got auto warehouse got carparts.com and I'm even affiliated with advanced auto because if you buy online you can pick it right up at the store don't have to worry about any of the sales guys you can figure out your own parts and at best if you're an Amazon shopper click through my Amazon link before you buy something it's not gonna cost you anything I get a small portion of it it's great uh, all the links will be down at the bottom in the show in the notes so help us out help me grow let me help you guys learn some more stuff that way you can uh, when somebody asks you where you learn something you can go well I got my knowledge guy you have a good night <laughs>